One of the things I really value about the Whitney, there's an opportunity for real debate, conversation. The ideas come from all over because we're dealing with art in America from 1900 to the present. So the program might at any moment have had a George O'Keefe exhibition or you know, very cutting edge younger artists. You really have all of these voices and distinct points of view. And it's really about how to support them and to deliver the mission of the institution overall. My name is Donna DeSalvo. I'm the Chief Curator and Deputy Director for Programs here at the Whitney Museum. You're doing the right light level readings? Yes. I oversee the curatorial department and the program of exhibitions, temporary exhibitions, the permanent collection, publications. And I have a pretty you know, good hand in how exhibitions get shaped over time. I think any museum curatorial department is a, a collection of individual perspectives and passions. I always believe an exhibition is a starting point, not an end point. And also artists really appreciate that because it's a genuine understanding in, in their own struggle to conceptualize something, to think fluidly. I think the curatorial process is at the heart of this new building. There's a level of detail in terms of how we conceptualize these spaces from the height of the ceilings to the type of wood that's used in the floor. So everywhere we looked in the building, we tried to build in a level of flexibility so that artists will show us over time what you can do in the space. To work in that kind of aspirational way is what this building, I think, has been designed for. And I, I believe it's what it will deliver and it will be reinvented now over and over again over its many decades of existence. One of the primary drivers for the Whitney's expansion has been the permanent collection. From the get-go, we thought of the permanent collection as the basis for our opening exhibition. The title of the exhibition is America is Hard to See. It's an unprecedented opportunity for the collection to occupy the whole building. It's what people don't know in the depth we know. The art handlers are laying the works out based on the model that we have. And then we're going room by room and, you know, really looking at the works before we hang them. Probably the paintings are the most straightforward thing. But now we're also installing a very complex sculpture by Nam Chun Pike. That's taking a series of days. And sometimes it's really fantastic to be able to, to step back and we all look at it. And I listen to what people have to say, really take it in. Because the works come alive in this dialogue with people. I think this building embodies the idea of the Whitney. We all work together to make what we do possible, and we're driven by that notion of idea, not just in the curatorial divisions, it's in all the divisions. So it's a very powerful concept, even if we don't always know what it is, and we keep changing it and rethinking it. I hope that when people enter this building, they will feel that they're at the Whitney, that they will say, ah, I'm at the Whitney, but wow, this is even better. That to me would be the best compliment ever.